Hey guys, this is Studio Harris here. Um, first tutorial in a long while, so you might have to bear with me. Um, but for today, I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, a little bit of displeans in Cinema 4D and the sweep nerves in Cinema 4D and use them in Vegas to create this sort of look. Pause that for These, you see how they grow behind the building and come out towards the screen. We're going to be trying to recreate this. Except for, mine are going to be still in just for the sake of the tutorial length. So, I will show you guys how to make it grow. I'll call them tubes for this tutorial. I will show you how to make these tubes grow from behind the building or what have you. But, within this I'm just going to show you the still in the as well. So, uh, open up your cinema for you where it all starts. And I've just got my basic sky and um, HDR like it, um, uh, lighting behind it and I added a compositing tag to untick scene by camera so that when I render it the sky which consists of my HDR will not be seen by the camera. So we're just going to start by creating a sweet note and stick that there. We can leave that for now, let's just leave that alone and we want to go to the spleen and cubic and I want to get a bird's eye view here because I think it's easier to create and now you want to create the style of your spleen, uh, tube tube spleen when I say them they mean the same thing uh, so yeah the style of your tube that you want to appear from behind the building so start there it's a lot like the vector tool in photoshop if any of you are familiar with so let's just create our style. Mine's just going to be basic, that'll do for me. And to edit it, I just go to symbol, default symbol, and symbol for me. And you can click certain keyframes or key points on the screen to edit them. So I want this to go a little lower and high. Yeah, that'll do for me as a basic structure. And next up, we want to go back to the same symbol up here and go to circle. Alright, so once we've got these two things, we want to put sweep nerves to parents. So we want to drag these underneath. And this will create as our 3D look. As you can see, it's fairly thick at the moment. So if you just go to circle, you can change the radius of the circle so it's a bit thinner and uh, less depth to it. And I'm just going to add my colour. Um, let's just render it out, see what it looks like. Alright, so yeah, that's good enough for me. Um, so, for you guys that want to use it in an animation, as in you want it to grow from the start to the end, uh, like we saw in that video, if you go to the sweep nerves, uh, you want to have this keyframe selected, and go to, yeah, go to stay on object. And it's the end ropes we're going to be editing. So you keyframe 90 at 100%. Well, you keyframe your end frame or the frame you want it to end at 100%, and the beginning at 0%. You should see. Oh no, sorry. Go back to the end and put this 100. Keyframe it again. So you can see as you render it, your tube will grow, just like on that video. So just yeah, change the end growth to 100% whenever you want it to end and zero when you want it to begin. You can go off this keyframe setting now. Alright, so when we're creating this, if you want to use the growing technique, or if you want to have it growing as in you're doing move an image or an animation, you want to change it to quick time movie and make sure you have alpha channel and straight alpha selected or ticked as this will change back to PNG as this will make this black background transparent so when I import it into Vegas for me or After Effects and um, you won't be able to see or it will be transparent and you'll be able to see whatever's behind it in your case scenery or image so 
For those of you that are going to use it in a still image, you want to use PNG and again make sure you have alpha channel and straight alpha selected. Um, I'm going to use still image so I'm going to go in current frame and then obviously just use your own, own default settings whichever you want. <clears throat> so I'm just going to render this still image out. Minimize this and get your Vegas open. Alright, I'm using this still image here. Obviously, you could have a slow animation going on, a uh, slow cinematic going on, but I would recommend slow uh, camera movement as the way we're going to be creating this is masking. Those of you that are good in After Effects or Vegas will know what that masking is, but if not, I'm going to show you what it is in a second. But you don't want to have a camera or a cinematic movement going all the way around the map as a lot of the well the tubes are going to be really hard to implement behind like a building or something like that so you want a slow cinematic so we've got our layer here and first of all we just want to duplicate this so control b control c and then create a video track so we've got two of the same layer here and we can May as well just go ahead and import our spleens actually that we just created so we use the desktop. Just import that into whichever software you're using. Alright, so right now the sweeteners is gonna look like this. We've got the transparent background where the black was in Cinema 4D, but it's ahead of the building, it's in front of the whole cinematic. And you know, it, it really doesn't look like it's coming behind the building just yet. So, we'll move that back there for now. Now we're going to get into the masking. So your top layer, make sure it's your top layer on uh, these two duplicates. You want to go to the event, pan and crop. And on default it will be on position. Uh, we just want to go down to mask. Go down to mask and tick mask. So we've enabled masking. Now, I want it to come behind this building here. Uh, well, my not going to grow, but I want it to appear from behind this building. So, we're going to click the anchor creation tool here. Or, to start with, I'm going to zoom in. That'll do. Alright, and it's a lot like the pen tool again. Just going to create our out, uh, outline of where you want it to appear from. So I'm just going to do this building really quick here. You can take your time, obviously. Alright, so we're doing it back up. And what this has basically done is it has cut our scene. <coughs> it's cut the image. So. Now this layer only consists of this lighter area here. Our layer is only picking up this. We basically cut out, you know, erased, cut out this darker tint here. So, for example, if I go to the scene, just this layer on its own only shows this building, which is what we want. And just go back on that for a second, and I'm going to add a grease feather. I'm going to go to the base, I'm just going to go to one, I'm going to go to And now for the spleens, or tubes, we're going to stick them in the middle layer. Boom. <laughs> Dead on. Um, so if I move this around now to where I want it, which is pretty much is where I want it, but you can move yours around and it will stay behind that building and look a lot like it disappear from behind it. So if you guys do move an image, it will be the same again, except for when you are masking, you'd have to not really remask. Defaultly for you, if you end, uh, select the top right of the anchor, uh, once you select that, you can move the whole mask. So, for you doing slow animation, say you want the camera here to slowly pan around this building, you'll be wanting to move this mask, keyframe, move the mask do a keyframe and uh, keep the spline so obviously you won't need keyframes because it's already been keyframed from the 4D to grow from behind the building uh, I hope that makes sense 
If not, um, if you comment or PM me, uh, preferably comment, and I'll create a moving image one for you. But this is just to save time in the video, I know it's still quite long, but it was to save time. Uh, it doesn't look too realistic at the moment, so you might want to add any colour corrections you've got, which I've got hardly any in Vegas because I didn't use it. But for whatever you want to create, you might want to use a colour correction on both the spline and the whole scene to make it look more realistic or for whatever, re for, for whatever reason. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you could like and subscribe if you're not already, that would be a massive help. And I do hope this tutorial 